Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to share with you, show you how I done the ombre balloon. I got another video how I done the happy birthday. That was the happy birthday framelits. It's very simple, but I had a tip on how to use with the adhesive sheet. I'm going to have the link right above here. So let's get started to do the ombre. This time, instead of doing it on this way, vertical, uh, horizontal, we're going to do it vertical. I thought to add it longer. So the stamp set for the balloon, it's Balloon Celebration. That's what I'm going to be using. And then for um, the greeting, hmm, it is, it's someplace, I, I will find it. Oh, it's right here. It is Better Together. So that's the inside greeting. So I got my foam under because it's a photopolymer and I like to use my foam. And for the balloon, it seemed to do a good difference. I'm going to start with Bermuda Bay. And we're going to go at the bottom. I like to about put that like in the center so I get about each side proportion correctly. And then we're going to go full strength. What I mean by full strength, we ink stamp ink and stamp and now I'm going to go full string again in the bottom here here we go and because um, we're going on the long way I'm going to do one more row of the Bermuda Bay full string okay now the next row, I'm going to use Bermuda Bay again, but stamp off first and then on your paper. Stamp off on your paper. Stamp off on your paper. Stamp off paper. Stamp off paper. Okay, I bet you're wondering why I didn't go you know stamp there there and the reason why it's because when i go at the end the it it give a line i bet you can see it right there so that's one reason now oops we're going to switch color now we will go with pool party and that it's way lighter so we're just going to do one row of the pool party there there, 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 maybe a little bit there. Here we go. Now the next one, let me wash my stamp again. The next one, it is Soft Sky. Soft Sky, it's very light. And we're going to do something different with the soft sky. I didn't do on the other one, and I think it's going to add quite a bit. So now we got all this. We're going to go in between each here. So about right at the top of it, just to cover that white a bit. See? And you know what? Skip that step. It don't really make a big difference. A little bit, but not enough. So we're going to leave it this way. Now we're going to use Bermuda Bay with scrap paper and it's going to be, we're going to punch with, we want the small one. So you see it's upside down, right? So when you stamp your um, balloon, you want to stamp it upside down too. So when you put it in your um, punch, it's going in the right direction. Let me show you another one. So if I would be here at the bottom here, and if I would go this way, see what's going to happen. Now you will understand what I'm saying, my paper earlier. So you see when I put it in my punch, it don't go, it don't match. So I would have to rip it like I did and then pass it. So if you punch it upside down, then it go right on. You don't have to worry, you can hold your piece of paper perfectly and punch it out that is for the small one 
Now, if you do it for the big one, the big one is go the right direction, so you want to stamp it the tail down. So that's one of the tips for this. So we're going to save that. Now let's remove some of my junk over here. And, oh, here it is. Okay, so this was 3 and 7 8 by 5 and 1 8. And this here, it's 5 and a quarter by 4. Now we're going to mount that together and I'm going to have the measurement on my uh, blog. Just above, you get the eye there, it's going to bring you right to my blog. Now I have to remember to flip this. Now for my inside, it's going to, not inside, but for the, over here, the card base, it is soft sky that measure eight and a half by five and a half fold in the center here we go now this is going to go at the top of our card base okay now we're going to use a linen thread I'm going to cut a piece, and you know what? I never measure really, and I need some dimensional. Okay, we're going to take a dimensional here. Put the linen thread in the back, put your dimensional on top. This is going to go about here. Now, this year I put the adhesive in the back. So now I can peel this up. So no fussy gluing because the adhesive is already in the back. The top, it's fresh fig. And the back for my layer, it is basic black. I'm going to put that about right here. You know what? Let's... Let's do this, that it's coming. Now oh, it's different a little bit. I won't put it tight, we'll see how that go. I want that at the tail of the bee there. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, now you wanna make sure you really press this give a good push so really your adhesive go right on your paper now i won't even cut this i think that's perfectly fine now we need a little bow there so i'm going to take just a little bit of the linen thread do a tiny little bow pull pull here we go I'm going to use my tip glue, and again, in my uh, fine tip glue here, it is a Tombow that I get in there. And I like to use this here um, instead of a glue dot, because my bow is so delicate, so tiny, so this way I can cover all this. Oh, my tails are too long, though. Let's take that out a bit. And we're going to put that right here. Et voila, my friend. Very, very simple. So you get the balloon that's coming, holding at the happy birthday. Now, in the inside, we're going to stamp. Um, I didn't bring a white card stop. One second. Here we go. Inside, we're going to stamp in fresh fig. Wishing you happiness on your special day. Here we go. And we're going to take a balloon. Again, I'm going to use Bermuda Bay. Going to put that right there. See, because I didn't have my phone. The balloon, you really need that phone. And oh, here it is. 
I can come back. That's perfect though. The, the shading, I like it instead of just the white. Okay, now what I done, I use my marker here, Bermuda Bay marker, and I just did a little tail coming there, did a little bow right there. And then two little. Here we go. Very, very simple. And then we're gonna put that inside our card. Voila, my friend. Simple but very cute birthday card. So now I got it on both sides so you can see the different one vertical and one horizontal. All the supplies are going to be listed on my blog and the other video that I get for the app using the adhesive sheets is going to be the uh, link right above. Uh, this one though, this one the shadow was in the black, this one the shadow was in um, lemon lime twist. Except that all the same color are used. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friend. And um, again, all the supplies can be purchased on my blog, again, in the link above. Thank you and have a lovely day. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Bye-bye for now.